the value of retention on both of these watches is going to be very similar. Which one is going to go up in price? Uh, probably, probably they'll go up, um, you know, relative to what you invested in there, about the same amount of money. Everything is relative to the amount of money you're going to invest in these watches, guys. So, um, if that if that is the concern that you're going to have about when buying a luxury watch, your first luxury watch, it's not going to make a difference if you buy older mid 80s, mid 90s watches because, like I said, they already took the hit that they were going to take. They already took the appreciation that the market is going to give them. So you're going to stay about the same. And to answer the question, which one is a better luxury watch? To me personally, it's going to be the Cartier. Cartier, they made the first wristwatch. They, they have a lot of story behind their, their brand. And a lot of people, they confuse it with a fashion brand. Fashion brand is more like a Michael Kors, like a Burberry watch. Cartier has nothing to do with fashion brand. Cartier is a full-on luxury brand. Rolex, on the other hand, Rolex didn't start off as a luxury brand. It started off as a tool watch and became a luxury brand uh, with the YouTubeication of the of the watch industry. And when YouTube made these watches very famous, guys, then Rolex became a luxury brand and um, and just they, they became very hard to get. So one of the things, if you if you're gonna go in and buy new, let's say you want to buy these watches new. Now we we know that uh, they just nowadays. Uh, what are we at? Uh, January of 2022. January, as of January of 2022, even they just are very hard to get um, at, at your first visit to the AD. You probably will get a date just, but it's going to take a month or two or three on a waiting list. And Cartier, it's it's available right now. Most of these Cartier that you like, that you see in catalogs, they're going to be available to you. So um, that, that's only if you're going through the new route, guys. So uh, is the scheme of the Rolex going to go away? I don't think. Um, I used to think the, the scheme of the Rolex was going to go away. At this point, I think um, I think we're going to be at the Rolex bubble forever and ever. It sure seems that we're doing videos for a long time. And I was thinking that it was going to burst and it never did, guys. So, But like I said, Rolex, there's nothing bad I could say about these watches. I love them. They're hard to get even in this condition right now. You know, this watch is in basically mint condition. And one of the things you want to see when, if you're going to go buy a used Rolex, obviously you want to see the stretch. You want to see that the watch maintains a nice form. And this here, it's a used watch. It, we're not going to say it's brand new. It's, it hasn't been referred. The band, I know it hasn't been refurbished, but it, it has basically no no big stretch here. So um, that's one of the things you want to look. You want to look at the fluid of bezel, make sure it's not over polished. And you want to look at the chamfers, make sure you have a little bit of... Uh, of, uh, of edge right here and it's not completely rounded off and you know it that that the watch is still in good condition and in a lot of these watches you want to look at the crown on the buckle if the crown on the buckle is is uh, already over polished you can you're gonna see you you're not even gonna be able to feel it you know if you rub your finger on top of it so guys um, these weren't the best straps or the best bands that Rolex made uh, not like the ones they make nowadays, but still, it's really nice to have one of these uh, Rolex watches. But like I said, as far as the better one, um, Cartier, Cartier, they, the, the minimalism of Cartier, I love this. If you were to get this watch in two-tone, you would have the yellow bezel and the yellow screws coming down the, the band. And both of these watches, that, that's, one of, that's one of the things I have to say about these watches. Both of these watches look amazing on straps. It doesn't matter what color straps you want to use on these watches. You want to go blue, purple, pink, whatever color you want to use. These watches will make the strap work. So that's one of the nice things about these watches. And and they're not integrated. Uh, you, you got a 20 millimeter and you got an 18 millimeter strap that would go on this one. So being non-integrated, you can make these watches work either way. So um, again, What's better than uh, than trying to pick one of these two? Just buying the two if you can. If you can't experience more than one brand, and and you have that mindset where where you're not going to be a fanboy only of one brand, guys, then it's going to be much much better, and you can have a lot more fun in your collection, guys. So hopefully, I explained a little bit of which one is better. It's a personal it's a personal opinion, and um, you guys pick whatever you guys like. There's many more luxury brands on the market right now, but the hottest, of course, is going to be Rolex, and then we're going to be talking about Cartier that's extremely hot right now. Omega is a hot watch right now to get, 
And a lot, I know a lot of people that can't get Rolex are, are jumping down to the Omega uh, bandwagon. Tudor, let's not talk about Tudor because Tudor is extremely hot right now. So, I mean, the whole watch market is extremely hot right now. But I just wanted to make a comparison of, between these two watches, guys. And I think they're both amazing watches. So you pick which, whichever one you think would be the best for you. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And like I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave my name right here. And remember, it's missing an N. So it's Bernardo78. And you're going to see a lot of the things I have for sale there. I have uh, watches, jewelry, uh, diamonds, chains, anything. I post every day. So if one day you don't see nothing, just come back the next day. You're going to find something there. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care now.